Hi, I'm Stuart from Big Game Hunter Sports Ball Shop and today I'm going to show you how to inflate a rugby ball. So to inflate a rugby ball, obviously you need a rugby ball, a ball pump with a needle adapter. Optional is a pressure gauge which reads the pressure on the ball that you've inflated it to. Most important of all is glycerin or if you haven't got glycerin use olive oil to lubricate the needle uh, before you insert it into the ball. So first off we need to check uh, what PSI the ball needs to be inflated to. This one needs to be inflated to um, 8 to 10 PSI. Let me just put that there, see if we can get it. See, 8 to 10 PSI. And we also need to locate the hole where the needle goes. You take a drop of glycerin. I'll just see. Drop of glycerin and you put it into the mouth the opening of the valve, that's where the needle goes into. Carefully insert the needle into the ball and then inflate. This pump's a double action pump which inflates the ball on both strokes, so in and out. It's putting air into the bladder makes the pumping of the ball a little bit quicker than a single action pump. And when you get in there, when you're nearly at the end, slow down, just keep checking, finger pressure. If you've been pumping balls up for years, you will know roughly the feel of a ball when it's at the correct PSI. As the ball has already had uh, glycerine put into the valve, you probably don't need to do it again, but now you need to carefully insert the pressure gauge, and then you need to check what PSI the reading is. And I can see that that is at nine. And as the ball needed to be inflated between eight and 10, that is ideal. The ball is now ready for use. I hope you found the video informative. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. If you've got any comments on how to inflate a ball or maybe you've got a question about the glycerin and where, where you get it from, leave the comments in the boxes below. Until next time, bye-bye.